but let's support Disney because that was a wonderful show they just put on. They're, they're flawless. Yeah. They're flawless. The extraordinary trophy winners, too. Mm -hmm. There's Look some of the, the thousands peeps. and thousands of people that are here at this marvelous, marvelous place. You know, you saw, of course, what every little girl in the world can tell you about. Elsa's Ice Castle from Frozen. Don't start singing the song. We'll never get uh, any further ahead. Okay. The icy hue that they have, by the way, is from Blue Status. It's a very tough color to find in nature, and they have accomplished that. What's going on down there in the street? Well, see, there, there you can see where the Disney float is turning from Orange Grove oh, to yes. Colorado Boulevard. Uh -huh. the, the parade actually starts on Orange Grove and then comes to Colorado. Uh -huh. Where we're sitting here, a gentleman by the name of Klaus Landsberg, way back in the 40s, picked this location as the best location to see the parade. And we're very happy that we are up here representing uh, KTLA Channel 5, uh, Hallmark Channel, and all of the wonderful people across the nation. Do you know there are 650,000 flowers uh, in Cinderella's castle alone? Really? And it dazzles with 220 hand-carved diamonds of white coconut. Hey, and I'll tell you another thing. Disneyland uh, here in Southern California, they're, they're closing down some of the rides mm -hmm. because they're going to build this incredible Star, Star Wars uh, facility, and it's going to be really, really special. <laughs> Little girls are standing in front of their television set right now mimicking what sisters Elsa and Anna are doing because they know <laughs> the routine. Look at the Star Wars work. Good grief. A millennium falcon of flaxseed, seaweed, carnations, and straw flowers soars over the stormtroopers and Wookiees. Yes. I don't think that would uh, make a very good armor for the real millennium, no, millennium, millennium falcon. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Wonderful it's Really work. special, that oh, wow. Just wonderful work. The, the, uh, the Star Wars movie has now gone over one billion dollars. It has now grossed more than any film in the history of filmmaking. And it opened on Christmas Day, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, we're going to produce a film. We're, we've got a, a children's soccer movie we're going to do. Is that but, right? Yeah, it's called Goals to Glory, and I'm looking really forward for that. It's going to be a lot of fun, too. Very nice. Disney, congratulations. This is their 60th anniversary, by the way. So, if you want to see all of the rides the way they are now, you better get to Disneyland real quick because they're going to be shutting some of them down to build this magnificent Star Wars. It's Disney's 60th anniversary, but... Uh, this Mickey the, does not look a day older. I know, but it, this is the 50th anniversary of their appearance. Chip and Dale, right there. Chip and Dale, get it? Oh, I get it. Goofy, your cousin. Hey, don't get you know. The stormtroopers. I'm not going to say a word. They're I got in trouble last time. They're awfully friendly. They're very friendly today. Oh, look at all those little bodies. I don't know who they all are, but they're happy to be here. I'll tell you, you that. They are. And right behind Disney, from Riverside County, California, come the Norco Cowgirls Rodeo Drill Team and the Little Miss Norco Cowgirls, made up of Wranglers ages 9 to 16. 